In January 2022, a massive cloud of ash and steam rose above the Pacific Ocean. It was one of the largest volcanic eruptions of the 21st century. But this story begins seven years before the explosion. In 2015, volcanic ash fused two underwater peaks, and a new piece of land emerged in the middle of the ocean. NASA satellites observed it, geologists studied it, and seven years later, it was gone. In this video, we'll show how the Earth created an island and then destroyed it, and why this eruption is still making scientists rethink what we know about underwater volcanoes, the atmosphere, and the planet itself. Hit the like button, subscribe, and let's begin. These two small islands, Hunga Tonga and Hunga Hapai, belong to the Kingdom of Tonga, an island nation in the southern Pacific Ocean. At first glance, they seem like ordinary patches of land in the water. But in fact, they are the peaks of a massive volcanic structure hidden beneath the ocean. The islands lie along the Pacific Ring of Fire, a zone of intense seismic and volcanic activity at the boundaries of tectonic plates. In December 2014, increased volcanic activity was detected between Hunga Tonga and Hunga Hayapai. On December 19th, an underwater eruption began. Over the following weeks, the volcano erupted in intermittent bursts, sending ash clouds up to 9 kilometers into the atmosphere. A maritime exclusion zone was established around the crater. By mid-January 2015, a new volcanic dome had formed above the ocean surface. The eruption occurred in the gap between the two existing islands, and as a result, a new stretch of land connected them into a single mass. Satellite observations showed that the new island reached approximately 1.9 kilometers in length, with heights exceeding 100 meters in some areas. Its surface was made mostly of compacted ash and tephra. Normally, such formations are quickly eroded by the ocean, but in this case, the new land remained. In late 2018, a research team from NASA and the Tonga Geological Service visited the island. During their fieldwork, they conducted detailed mapping, collected samples, and created a 3D model of the terrain. They documented the first signs of plant life, colonies of lichens and small grasses that had arrived via wind, seabirds, or ocean currents. Bird nesting activity was also observed. According to NASA's estimates, the island could survive anywhere from 6 to 30 years, depending on erosion rates. Between 2015 and 2021, the island gradually lost surface area but maintained its core structure. Its central mass remained relatively stable, despite the steady retreat of its shoreline. By early 2022, the island was still intact, smaller than when it first formed, but still bridging the gap between Hunga Tonga and Hunga Haapai. In early January 2022, signs of renewed volcanic activity were detected at the island. On January 14th, an explosive eruption released large amounts of ash and steam into the atmosphere, along with local tsunami waves. But the main event occurred the following day. On January 15th, the volcano erupted with a force later described by scientists as one of the most powerful in over a century. The explosion lasted only a few minutes, but its effects were felt worldwide. The eruption sent a plume over 55 kilometers high, the tallest ever recorded in the satellite era. Remarkably, the eruption released not only ash, but also around 146 million tons of water vapor, representing more than 10% of the total water content of the stratosphere at that time. The shockwave from the eruption circled the Earth at least three times and was recorded by weather stations across many countries. For the first time in history, Atmospheric waves were observed to trigger tsunami events over great distances, including along the Pacific coasts of Peru, Japan, New Zealand, and the United States. In the following days, the region experienced acid rain, ash fallout, and reduced sunlight. 
undersea communication cables were severed, cutting Tonga off from the outside world for more than a week. The Tonga Geological Service and international satellite agencies continued to monitor the area for months. By the end of 2022, it was clear. The island that had connected Hunga Tonga and Hunga Hayapai for seven years was gone. All that remained of the former landmass were the two original islands, once again separated by the sea, just as they were before 2015. After the 2022 eruption of Hunga Tonga, scientists around the world began closely studying its consequences. It was the first event of such magnitude to be observed in real time. One of the key discoveries was the unprecedented amount of water vapor released into the stratosphere. This led to unusual changes in atmospheric temperature patterns and short-term cooling in the southern hemisphere. Researchers also recorded disruptions in upper atmospheric circulation and temporary interference with satellite systems. Another important focus was the propagation of atmospheric waves. The shock wave from the eruption circled the planet multiple times and triggered tsunami waves in regions where tsunamis are rarely observed. This prompted a reassessment of how such waves form and spread following large-scale explosions. Seafloor mapping revealed that the eruption was accompanied by a collapse of part of the volcanic structure. A deep underwater caldera formed where the island had been, a sign of the eruption's immense scale, comparable to the 1883 Krakatoa event. This eruption provided scientists with new insights into how underwater volcanoes can affect not just the ocean, but the atmosphere and Earth's global systems as a whole. Over the course of seven years, an island emerged between two underwater peaks. It was created by the Earth and then destroyed by it. This eruption reshaped how scientists understand underwater volcanoes, how waves form, and how a single event can simultaneously impact the ocean, the atmosphere, and even outer space. It serves as a reminder that even in a digital age of satellites and sensors, nature can still surprise us with its scale and its unpredictability. If you're interested in more scientific stories about our planet, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next video.